All right, welcome everyone. It is Wednesday. I practiced June 24th. I looked at the, the calendar today, <laughs> June 24th. Um, today is a really a free, a welcoming. We want to see as many people here come and share in uh, the workouts and the meditation and the yoga and the space. So welcome to everyone. One of the things um, that I want you to, to have tips on today is, oh, she's coming in. Hello. Just set your mat up and come say, come check in. <laughs> One of the tips that I want you to remember today is to breathe. I know it sounds silly. You're like, well, of course I'm going to breathe, but we don't. We start getting in a position and we tense up and hold our breath or we're in a deep focus. So remember to breathe. You're going to get breathless and your muscles are going to burn, right? Everyone that's been with me for the last few weeks, right, Cherie? She's shaking her head. Um, I also want you to listen to your body. So if I'm doing the work and you're getting tired or your body is burning and on fire and everyone here is still going, don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Stay really true to your workout, even if you have to close your eyes, right? Just check in with your body. Should I keep going or should I rest? Um, there, we have lots of us here today, so you're going to see a lot of variations. You're going to see people resting, and I'm going to be cheering for them for resting. Because this workout is not just a pacing workout. It's not just casually, you know, la-di-da, have a conversation and lift the weights. When we're in the intensity of it, I want you to go intensely. Doesn't mean you have to go fast, but you have to be in the depth, heavier weights, and in your form. If you don't have weights, no worries. You'll just breathe and be in the best form that you can have. The reason that we do these intervals where I want you to push really hard and get breathless is because it stimulates the HGH hormone. And that, why do we want that? Does anyone know? Why do we want HGH, more HGH? It helps us burn our food more efficiently. It's really effective in improving your metabolism, kind of giving it a little jump start. It's also really good for cell repair, and it's really, really good for all your vital organ functions. And so people, if you guys, some of you remember about 10 years ago, everyone was injecting uh, for weight loss HGH hormone, which is kind of silliness sometimes if you think about it now, but you can actually activate that by getting into that breathless and burning part of the workout. Okay. All right. I think those are all the tips. I'll be reminding you all throughout the workout as well. So before we get started, we're going to move into a child's pose shortly, but I really want you guys to think about this question. A lot of today is about visualization. So we'll be doing the exercise and the outside physical body workout, but we're also going to be in taking into account our mind, our thoughts, how we talk to ourselves during the workout. And that is super important. It keeps you focused. It keeps you breathing. It keeps you visualizing what muscle is working. But today I want you to consider this. I want you to visualize what would happen if you were to do the workouts for three weeks, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like you didn't miss any, what would shift inside of you? Would you feel stronger? Would you feel leaner, healthier, more confident, more empowered? Maybe you wouldn't have any more time for negative chit chatter about what you should have done. And there would be more space of an acknowledgement for feeling good and feeling really in your heart, really happy. It's going to be different for each one of you. So go ahead and move yourself over to a child's pose and start to feel what would it feel like if you stayed consistent for the next three weeks. 
visualization is a super powerful tool and it takes practice. So come into the practice and, and feel. What would happen? What would happen after three weeks? Take some really deep breaths here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it go. Today is about honoring where you are, exactly where you are. It's perfect. Go ahead and come up into a tabletop. Take your knees about hips distance and you're going to just rock from side to side maybe at more of a little tilt in your hips like you have a little dog's tail and you're wagging and then we're going to start to make some circles be gentle maybe a small circle is better and then reverse direction Come right into the center. We're going to go into some cat cow. It's really powerful for your spine, this exercise. You're going to inhale and drop your belly, lift your chin. And then you're going to push down, chin goes to chest. Feel your vertebrae expand. Inhale and drop. Exhale and round. Take your time, go at your own pace. Breathe right into the spine. Notice where you're tight, and then just do a little bit of wiggle. Work with your body very gently. Looks good, Amanda. Hi, Sarah, welcome back, Sarah. <laughs> Come right back into neutral position. You're gonna tap the top of your feet on the mat. And then you're gonna shake your head no, shake your head yes. Tuck your toes under and you're gonna push up into a down dog. So tailbone goes up. You're gonna press the heels down like you're pedaling your feet. Big exhale right here. Press down both heels. And on your inhale, take the right toe to sky. Circle your ankle. Reverse. Drop the heel to your booty and open up your hips. You're gonna stack your hips. This is a place where some of you stop breathing. So, whew, engage in breath. Big knee circles right here. If you want, otherwise just hold it. If you need to rest, rest. It's the circle. And then you have to breathe, especially if it starts getting challenging. Toe to sky, toe to toe. And then inhale that left leg up. Circle the ankle. And reverse. Drop the heel to your booty, open the hips. It should feel really good. Breathe into the body, the hips, the booty, and begin your hip circles. Again, if you want, if you don't, just rest right here. We're gonna finish up. And reverse. All right, take the toe to sky, toe to toe, knees down to the ground, and sweep the arms up for a salutation, and then pull the arms behind you, squeeze your blades, little goalpost arms. Just kind of play around with your back. All right, come right into four knee push-ups. Take it slow. Again, if you can go all the way down, great. If you can just go part way, that's okay. And some of you may just wanna hold right here. That's fine too. 
Come back up to your knees and we're gonna do some body circles. So you're gonna take your arms and circle around three times. And then we'll reverse. If you want, you can really let your whole body come into this move. It really feels good when you let go. All right, one more time through a little quicker. We're gonna go through cat cow. Here we go, drop the belly, lift the chin and round for three more. Inhale, exhale, two more in and out. Last one. Downward facing dog, tailbone up, pedal the feet for four, three, two, one. Right leg to sky, drop the heel, circle the leg for three, two, one. Reverse your body, so do what feels good. Take the toe to sky, toe to toe, left foot up, drop the heel to your booty and circle for three. One more, reverse direction. Toe to sky, toe to toe. Come in for sun salutation, inhale, rise. Goal post arms, four push-ups, right into it. Lots of breath, we're starting to wake up. Four big circles, or three big circles each direction. Again, your whole body can come into it. Stretching your ribs. And then the other side. It's kind of a swanky little move, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go, four more push-ups, four more push-ups. All right, shake it out and then come on up to your feet. If you need a sip of water, grab a sip of water. Otherwise, we're gonna start our dynamic warm up. So just start marching in place. We'll wait for everyone. You guys all good? Yes, <laughs> gentle Sarah. Yeah, yeah. Come on here, Molly. <laughs> all, right. all right, we're all good. <laughs> okay, so we're standing up. We're starting to get loose. We know that some more energetic move is co movements coming. So go ahead and knees up. Oh, I'm afraid I got the, the wrong song. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it on screen. Okay, just the yes, we'll, we'll let it through some language, I'm sure. <laughs> Tap the heels in the front. <laughs> we'll keep it down for just us. All right. What? All right, tap those heels in the front. Take it to the back. <sighs> Remember, if this is a little tricky with the arms, no arms, just kick the heels behind you. All right, open it up right here. Take a breath in and windmills. Ooh, and really open up the arms when you come up. It's about form. It's about breath. Last three. Last two. And one. Come right into a squat. Your legs are wide. And then you're just going to do a tiny little bounce at the bottom. You're going to look for some burning. So wave your hand. Make a shout when you feel burning. <laughs> we got some woohoos already. Burning. All right, anyone else on screen? Wave if you're burning. Okay, good, Karen. Karen's got some burning. All right, stay right there. Relax your shoulders. Are you tense? Loosen up, get into the booty. Last four, three, two, take it low and up. Low and up. Two more. Last one. All right, shake it out. A little bit of dance. Shake out the body. We're going to go through one more time. All right, here we go. Knees up. 
If you can, a little bounce in your step, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe if you're just doing the arms, maybe you're just doing a rock back and forth. It's okay. We're still in the warm up. <laughs> Here we go. Tap the heels in front. Tap the heels. Remember, if you've been here a while, you want to add a little jump here. Go for it. Take it to the back. Aren't they cute on screen? Can you guys see the little bodies? We see you guys working over there, Suzanne, Cindy. All right, come right in, Lou. Pulse right here. I know we didn't do the windmills. I'm going back to them. <laughs> I didn't want to miss this good burning stuff. Here we go. Stay down for four, three, two, and all the way down and up. Slow for four, three, two, one more. Open up and windmill for four, three, two, and one. All right, we're warm. Yes. <laughs> we're all breathing hard too, so don't feel bad. It's it's the warm up. That's what was supposed to happen. All right, so grab your weights. We're going to be doing a squat, shoulder press. Squat, shoulder press. We're going to be doing some kickbacks. We're going to be doing two cardio sessions and then some abs. So feel free to use weights or no weights. These are the intervals that I was talking about where you're going to work hard. You're going to practice going to bur burning and breathless. All right. So now's the time. It's true. It's happening. I'm not sure why the Good music is on. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and grab your weights. You're going to take your feet about hips distance. Hands are right by your side. You're going to sit back in a squat, heels, that's where you're at, heels, and then shoulder press. We're going to do that five times. Squat, shoulder press. Two more. One more. And then just the arms for five. Four, three, two. Back to squat, shoulder press. This is exercise number one. We're going to get to do this three more times. You're going to come right into a tricep kickback. So feet are together, knees are bent, kickback for five, four, three, two, and then hold it right here, contracting your triceps, and five more. So you're going to hold for five, and hold. If you want to make it more challenging, you can do a little pulse here. Here we go. Five more kickbacks. Are you burning? Anyone burning here? Oh, we have some yeses. All right, hold it back. Hold for five. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, set your weights down. This third one is a cardio. You guys may have to spread out a little bit, but it's skaters. You're going to jump from side to side. So you may want to turn sideways and jump side to side. Push, push. So it's just a little, you can do it sort of standing and just stepping. Or if you want, get a really big jump. Big skaters. If you guys can see Kelly Bliss, she's got a beautiful skating form and the Molly's arms are pretty good too. Arms are swinging. All right, Molly's got a good spot too. Here we go, last three, two. Here we go, come into our second cardio. You're gonna squat, side leg lift. Ooh, I have two people in this group that love this exercise. 
So it's for you, Molly and Jen Nordby. Woo. I actually thought about doing this on the weekend <laughs> when I grabbed my weights and did other stuff. I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> All right, get down low and then squeeze the leg when it comes up. There's an amazing little muscle on the side of your glutes. It's good booty stuff, good booty stuff. Remember, if you need to rest and catch your breath, do it. That's right. Down on the ground, you are going to do uh, five slow crunches. One, two, three, four, and then hold it at the top and do 10 little quick pulses. And then go back to five slow. All the way open, shoulders come up and squeeze for five. Take it slow. Five slow, and then when you come up at the top, 10 really intense little burning right on. All right, come on up. That was round one. We are doing four rounds. Grab your weights and squat shoulder press. Here we go. We do five of these and then five presses. Here's number four. Remember, you may go at a different pace. It's all good. You may need to rest. It's all good. I'm kind of a bad counter. I think that might be fun. <laughs> You're gonna feel that burning and breathless. That's a good thing. Last three seconds. All right, exercise two is kick back. Kick back for five and then hold for five. Really contract in the tricep on your hold. Are you breathing? And here's the other thing I want you to check. Are your shoulders up near your ears? If they are, push them away. And then just let the tricep, the back of the arm, let that part be your focus. So good, Jen. Nice, Sandy. Great form, Sandy. All right, set it down. We are on to skaters. Remember, side to side. If you don't like this one, you can run in place. You can do a dance. You can do anything that gets your heart rate up. You guys are looking good. Alex, glad you made it to class today. And Hillary, same with you. Glad to see you here. We got 10 seconds. What do you need to do to get breathless? Push right here. All right, right into a squat leg thrust. If you're getting tired, push a little harder till you feel the burn. And then rest if you have to. Heather King, it looks fantastic. Yes. You got this, Karen. Suzanne, hanging in there, I love it. Keep going, keep going, guys. Nice, Cindy. Three, two, one, come down to your back for the abs. Five slow, 10 pulses. Go into the depth of your core and find some strength.
Remember to breathe and exhale as you lift. On that crunch, exhale as the abs contract. Right, don't pull on the neck. Shift your awareness back into the core. You guys feel good? All right, come on up. We are halfway done. We're back to squat and shoulder press. All right, this may be the place where you start to find that breathless and burning. If you haven't found it, keep looking. <laughs> you good? Finding some breathless there? Yes? Yes. I had a special message from Pepe saying, take it easy, sunshine. Tell Sarah to take it easy. Were you? Yeah. And he said, she's probably going to be out there soon. He's like, tell her to take it easy. Yeah. Sarah's going to be out there today. And then yesterday I went, yeah, no. Good. Yeah, no. Good. Clark went yesterday. Oh. And Monday. He went to meet you guys, but he missed you. We missed him too. I know. All right. Here we go. It's tricep kickback for five. Hold for five. Check your form. Remember, shoulders away from the ears. Bend those knees. What are your abs doing? If they're just hanging out, pull them in. Here we go. Kick it back for five, four, three, two, and hold it right here. If you have a neighbor, encourage them. Woo. Here we go. If you're all alone, encourage yourself. And hold. Five more seconds. We're almost there. All right, set the weights down. We're in the two cardio skaters. Here we go. Power. What is your self-talk right here? Are you encouraging? Are you encouraging, Mitzi? Yeah. I'm watching while I run from the beat. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Amanda? Doing good. Uh, uh, Becky. Yeah. Good. You're good. All right. Heart rate's going up? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's always hard to take a rest, but do it so that you can come back more intensely. All right, here we go. Squat side thrust. Go for it when you're ready. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna get to that place where it calms just a little, and then I'm gonna go for it. Squeeze. Sometimes this takes a lot of balance, so be gentle. Sometimes this it's good. We're about practicing. We can't just pop out and be experts. All right, down on the ground, abs. Five, very slow. Exhale as you lift, and then 10 crunches. Five, slow, 10 crunches. The idea is to get in connection with your ab muscles. Can you find it? Okay. Are you waiting to see? <laughs> Have you been doing abs lately? No. Yay! She's doing them now. Welcome back, abs. <laughs> yes. Good. Beautiful. Breathe, breathe. And rest, rest, rest. So much more going on than just the physical. All right, guys, come on up to your weights. This is it. We're on the home stretch. Squat, shoulder press. Find your focal point and make sure that you're sitting back on your heels when you do this exercise. Way back on the heels. And then five, just the shoulders. Now what happens, sometimes the arms will just fall down. 
Be mindful as you pull them down. Controlled in form is way better than just kind of winging it quickly. Form and breath. We have eight seconds left. All right, coming into the tricep kickback. You know the position, bent knees, elbows straight back. Here we go, kick for five. And then when you're in that hold, feel your tricep squeeze. Go to uncomfortable. Here we go, five more, kick it back. There's a little squeeze and pause at the top. So you're not just dropping the arms down. It's controlled. Hold for five. It's gonna be hard. Ah, scream if you need to. Here we go, kick back for five. We have six seconds. All right, set it down. Skaters or dance, march in place, whatever you need to do. We have these two back-to-back -back cardios. Remember, these workouts are short because we're going intense. We're looking to produce that HGH hormone good for, what makes you say? Burning your metabolism. Metabolism. What else do you remember? Good for vital organs and cell repair. We got 10 seconds, turn it up. That's it, Jen. If you can look at the screen and be inspired by someone, let it happen. Here we go, squat, squeeze. So check your foot right here when it lifts. Don't let the toes dangle. You wanna flex, show off your little quads. Burning and breathless. Get sweaty. We are nearing the end. We got about 12 more seconds left. So if you need to rest, catch your breath and then come back to it. Good, on your back, final abs, five slow, 10 quick. Exhale as you lift. It's a really great place to tilt your pelvis up. There should be no gap or arch in the back. Everything is rounded. Go for it. Three, two, done. Celebration bells. You guys did it. Yay. All right, this is a good sign that everyone's on the ground still. Right, because we're tired. <laughs> All right, so just take some water. We're we'll getting about a minute right here. And then I have a five minute bonus round. So just catch your breath. We have five exercises. Each one is a full minute. And remember, just do a little bit of it and then rest. If you only work for the first 10 seconds, and you have to rest for 50 seconds, that's great, right? You have to be okay with how it looks for you. All right, don't worry about anyone else. We're gonna get sweaty here. So catch your water. These are intense ones today, really hard. So have fun with it. I guarantee this is where big strength comes in. All right, come up onto your feet. The first exercise, the first of five, is gonna be high knees for five, and then you're gonna, 
for five. High knees for five. You can jump on my mat. Quick feet. All right, you can do it with a really high intensity run or just like I did, march and then step it out. We have one minute of this. Take a breath in, high five your neighbor, wish them well as they go into their laser focus. Here we go, one minute, go for it. Five high knees, five quick feet. High knees. You don't have to be a perfect counter. We're only concerned with the heart rate going up. Halfway there. This is a place where people like to pace. Don't pace. Go hard. And then rest if you need to, like I'm doing. I'm gonna come back and go hard. Here we go, last five seconds. Love it when you rest, Minty. All right, second exercise. New jacks. They're jumping jacks. They go out, in, out, in. You can walk them out, walk them in. Otherwise, power jump. Woo! You might be a little old and get a couple in. That's okay. They're burning, huh? Yay, yeah. yeah, it's happening. Come for it, Amanda. Love it. We got about 20 seconds left. Woo. My heart rate's skyrocketing. Here we go. Power, as high as you can. 10 seconds. Woo, it's burning. Walk it out. All right, here we go. Third exercise, mountain climbers. Mountain climbers can be done just like this. Standing or on your push-up position and mountain climbing. Oh. Rest when you need to. Go for it, Molly. Excellent work. Go for it. That's it. That's it. You guys are working your leg. We got first timers. We got first timers on the screen, too. Big smile. You're doing it. Here we go. Ten more seconds. Rest the All right, here we go. It's the squat, squat jump, up change. It's our challenge. So we do one squat, one jump, two squats, and then two jumps. Remember, you may not jump off the ground. You may just go up on your toes. But we do three, two. Now we go to four squats. And you just keep going up and up and up. We got ten seconds. <sighs> Remember, if you're going to the edge, you're gonna get tired. You won't be able to hold it. That's what we want. Here we go, fifth exercise. You're gonna take your legs wide. Five wide squats. You can do it with a little hop. Then bring your feet together. Five close. And then five toe jumps. Back to the beginning, five wide. Five with the feet together. Woo! Five toe jumps. Wide, close. 
jumps, toe jumps. You got it, 20 more seconds. You guys good? Here we go. Last five seconds. And done. So walk around, grab some water. Did it work, Molly? What? The last five minutes? Oh, yeah. 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 I like having that up chain with one more to go. I was like, oh, that's going to be hard. We mixed it up a little bit today. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we, for 16 weeks or more, we've done it. That was the grand finale. All right, guys, keep catching your breath. Each one of them are going to come in and give a thumbs up because they're okay. <laughs> they're doing good when they're ready. And then we'll take a look on the screen. If you're doing good, you're actually going to show me how high did you get your heart rate today? Did it ever go to a 10? You would do this. If it got to like a nine or a seven, you're just gonna flash a, a little gang sign there. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Nice, Jen. Nice, Lorraine. Hillary, good. Steffi and mom and Alexandra, I know you guys are there. We got a wiggling 10 from Cindy. Karen, is that an eight, Karen? Karen, or how fine's an eight? Karen Perrin, where were you? 10? 10, 10, love it, Suzanne. Nice work, Kelly Bliss, seven, love it. Oh, there you guys are, my niece and my mom. Yay, what are your signs? Were you a 10 or an eight, or how high did your heart rate? 10, 10. Nice, all right. We're gonna come over, I'm gonna move the computer over. We're getting ready for our yoga stretches. We have to move the computer because we've learned it catches a little heat. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. So we're all moving over to a little shadier part of the yard. Everyone here is okay, right? Yep. No one is on the ground gasping for air. We're standing up somewhat gasping. Here we go. Go ahead and bring your hands to your heart. This is really a celebration of the work that you just did. Let yourself feel the celebration. Is there something positive you can practice saying to yourself? Kind words. Go ahead and take an inhale as you sweep the arms up. Get tall. And then exhale as you fold it forward all the way to the earth. You're going to hold here, whether it's your ankles, your shins, the ground. Release the head. Again, another place to celebrate the work that you just did. <clears throat> Holding here for three, two, and one. Bend the knees, take the arms out to the side. Inhale as you come up. Catch your left wrist and you're gonna do a side bend. If you can, go a little deeper and breathe into the hip where you feel that gentle Inhale as you come up, switch wrists. Again, you're going to notice the heart rate starts to come down. It's going to feel good. Some of you are going to get a shot of adrenaline, and you're going to be really high here in a minute. So wait for it. Here we go. Inhale as you come up. Clasp the hands behind your back. And peel open the shoulders. 
you may want to lift your arms up. They may not go very high. They go where they go. I want you to breathe that in. Be thankful for the body that you have right now. If you want to dip forward and let the hands go overhead, you can. <clears throat> Go ahead and release. As you come up, bring your right leg with you. We're gonna see how your balance is today. Flex your toes. Relax the shoulders, but let the fingertips rise to the sky. Kick the leg forward. Swing the legs back. Not the legs, the arms. How did you really do? Oh, okay. Sarah tried to do that. She, she's such a good student. All right, swing the leg behind. <laughs> and you're going to balance here. Airplane, Warrior Three, lots of names for it. I call it Flying Bird. In fact, let your wings just open and let yourself fly. Good. Come all the way up. Bring that leg with you. Cross it over your ankle and come right down into a single leg chair. I know that was quick. Some people are still trying to figure out what just happened. That's perfect. Relax and set it down. Shake out the body. Here we go. Sweep and bring the left leg up. Uh, gentle rhythmic breaths right here. Work with your body. Extend the foot out. Wings go back. Here we go, leg goes back and we fly. Where would you fly to? If you could fly anywhere. Holding here for three, two, one. Here's the tricky part, bring the knee with you. Ankle over the knee. You could stay right here or come into a deep squat. Flex your foot and you're gonna get this beautiful stretch right here on the left hip. All that little wiggling is great because what it's doing is it's strengthening that standing foot. You have ligaments and tendons and if you're wiggling, they get strong. It's all good. Release, take one more inhale. One more exhale down to the earth. One more inhale back up to the sky. Bring your hands into your heart, close your eyes for a minute, be still and go into a silent prayer for someone in your life who may be having a tough time. Go to a prayer of gratitude for yourself for showing up and going for it today. Release the hands. You're going to work your way up towards the screen. You guys can come forward. We're gonna go into our meditation, our final closing meditation. You can find yourself comfortable seated, or if it's better and you wanna lie down on your back for a corpse, perfectly fine. So get yourself set up. I love it. My cute baby girl's over here laying down for a nap. <laughs> love it. Getting comfy. And that's the most important part of meditation is get comfortable. It's often much easier to get quiet and still when you're exhausted. So let's take advantage of that. Begin to breathe in through the nose and gently out through the mouth. Keep making subtle shifts to allow your body to get more comfortable. 
more relaxed. And then if you don't have a cold or allergies, you're going to make that breath in and out through the nose. So the mouth will close, lips are slightly pursed, and just in and out through the nose. Every single one of us has a unique rhythm to our breath. I want you to look for the unique rhythm that's like a lullaby. It's very compassionate and soothing. I know the mind often likes to wander. So if your mind needs a focus today, you're gonna to say the words, I'm breathing in and now I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in I'm breathing out. You're going to turn your focus to that question that we asked at the beginning. And I really want you to feel if you did this type of workout, the one we just did, for the next three weeks, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or some variation of three days a week, what would shift for you? Visualize what you would look like, how your posture would be. Would you make different food choices? Would you dress differently? How would you interact with others? So go ahead and place yourself standing in the center of a room after three weeks. You're gonna walk around your little physical body, your aura, your spirit, and just take notice of how differently you look how differently you feel. Take one more really deep cleansing breath in. Expand the lungs as big as you can. And then let it go through the mouth. We're going to do a couple more of those on your own. Just really, really deep, expansive breath. As you start to bring your awareness back into your body. Like a big sigh of relief. You did it. You can begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. If you're lying down, you'll start to roll over onto your side. 
Be gentle. This is a great place to practice self-compassion. You can hang right there on your side and chit chat with us like Suzanne's doing. It's beautiful, Suzanne. <laughs> She's got the beach comfortable. Hey, check me out. <laughs> so cute, huh? All right, everyone is up and awake and alive. If you guys want to come and see everyone, you can. We're going to be doing some shifting over here, but if you have to get going on with your day, I just want to thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are starting our 10 class workout this Friday. It's going to be a lot of focus from the teachings of Wayne Dyer. Super positive. We'll get to practice a lot of visualization. We'll combine the inner and outer parts of us. Emotional body, spiritual body, and physical body. All right, so if you gotta go, it's so great to be with you today. If you need to still sign up so that you get the link on Friday, just send me a text, you can Venmo. I've sent some of you PayPal invoice if you like that. There is a little bit of a fee on that sometimes. Um, or if you're gonna do a cash or make arrangement so I get you on the list for Friday. If any of you want to stay and check in. I'm going to be here for about five more minutes and we'll see everyone here in person. All right, have a good day. All right, we're going to go with you guys. How was it for your, we'll start with, um, how about we start with Sarah, Becky, and Amanda. Any of you guys, how was it for today? Um, different than you classes in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first one of these that I've done and um, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, you know, modifications. <laughs> it's like my whole life right now. Modifications, but it's okay. If you are worried about modifications, this is going to be your go-to girl right here, Sarah. She is going to be all about the modifications. Same with Mitzi. She's good at modifications too. And we all, if we are not good at all at modifications, we need to become good at modifications. Every single one of us, it doesn't matter how strong you are. Um, modifications are always a more powerful and smarter way to go in the workout. So, yay, welcome back, Sarah. Amanda, what did you think? That was great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What part of you feels great? Um, my whole body, I feel energized. Energized. I definitely did not feel energized when I arrived. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right? She says she didn't uh, uh, feel energized when she arrived. Here's the thing no one is going to feel like woohoo. Well, some of us might. <laughs> woohoo! Friday morning. A lot of us are going to go, oh my God, that was hard. Um, I, I probably need another rest day. That's sometimes the mind will say, Oh, I've got to do the groceries. Oh, I got to clean the house. <laughs> it's going to come up with a lot of reasons why you can't show up. And I want you to remember how you feel. Like Amanda was saying, she feels energized. You have to know that that will happen after the workout, not before. <laughs> All right. So you have to stay strong. You may need an accountability buddy. You may need to text me and say, I really want to come Friday, but I have a feeling I'm going to have sneaky voices keeping me from coming. And so we are all here to help you show up. It's the hardest thing we have to do, show up. All right. How about for you, Becky? What do you think? Yeah, I really like that. What was the hardest part? The hardest part? Um, I just haven't worked out since a long time ago. It's hard. The whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> It's really hard for everyone, um, especially if you've been conditioned and your parents or whoever in your life told you, you must work harder. 
it's never enough. You got to keep going. Don't stop. Don't ever stop. Ignore your body, right, Cherie? Don't listen to your body. You're only good if you push past the pain. That's a conditioned thing. Now, we, some of us need a little push, but what's more important is that you check in with your body and you kind of go, okay, I know it's painful, but it's not an injury pain. It's just hard. We can push through hard work, but we cannot push through injury. The body's injured because it's giving you a signal to make a change. And that change is not to override and just go past the injury. Or if you're sick, if you're feeling sick, um, it, it, it's a really fine line and we're all here to practice that. So we're not experts. I'm not an expert. I've been practicing it. I'm 51. I think I've been practicing it since birth. Not good at it still. <laughs> Some days are harder than others. So it's okay. You know, we have to stop being in this perfection mind mode of it's all or nothing. Um, because we're basically just going to die and, and no one's going to give you a prize for being um, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got Mitzi back. How was your workout, Mitzi? Come on up and say hi. Good morning. Good, really good. I was, I missed Monday, so my head was all wrapped around today being in my Monday, so it's good. Yeah, good to be back. All right, I'm gonna move the screen for Molly, superstar Molly over here going crazy with her fashion glasses. <laughs> what happened in your workout today? <laughs> um, good, a lot of sweating, sparkling. Um, I just feel like I'm getting stronger every workout. I can push a little harder before I need to seek out rest. Um, just, so just thank you for um, the intervention you had four weeks ago with me. So. I had a little intervention <laughs> with her. I, I made her, I went to her work and I said, where have you been for six weeks? Maybe eight weeks. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't feel like I can come. I said, it's okay. You're coming. And now how much have you lost? 7.8 pounds. 7.8 pounds in four weeks. Yeah. Sometimes we need an intervention. If you need one, let me know. I'll come to your house and get you. <laughs> come to your house and pull you out. No, uh, all this this space is just uh, you know a lovely, encouraging. You're gonna get. To know I know some of you guys recognize each other from the screen, and it's very positive and helpful. All right, anyone want to say anything out there in the screen? I know Sandra had to go. Cherie, you have something to share with us today. I can feel it. I do. <laughs> A big surprise. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because when I first started with you, Michelle, I was thinking I'm too old for this. I don't have the energy for it. Um, and I have too many sores from accidents and all the excuses that go along with it. And of course, my sister was the biggest motivator for me. And um, anyway, but today I'm thinking, I haven't, the sun has not seen my belly for 15 years, at least 15 years, okay? And I'm thinking maybe a two-piece bathing suit. I might just get a two-piece bathing suit. That's so different. <laughs> oh, cool. I want you to keep visualizing that. Um, that's so powerful. Oh my yeah. God, so fun. That's crazy. I don't think you would have said that 16 weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no way. My, you know, I was getting sun, but now I want to derobe. <laughs> That's crazy fun. <laughs> I am so proud of you. For those of you that don't know, she started also 16 weeks ago. I don't, you may have missed one time. I don't even know. If no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I you know, the thing was, just keep showing up, even if I was not going to show up. There was no way. But I kept showing up. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and now I feel like, you know, of course, all of you guys, I love you so much, all of you. It's just so wonderful to see everybody and 
Yeah, I have a big love for everybody. And, you know, the mom and the daughter uh, combo, I love that. That is so precious. And, uh, oh, and Molly, I wanted to tell you, your arms are just looking so stud over there. So stud. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can I can see it. And, you know, it's just beautiful. I love it. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. I'm so proud of you. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, mom, Steffi, this is my mom and my grand, <laughs> not my granddaughter, her granddaughter, my <laughs> awesome niece. You guys want to take yourself off mute and oh. tell us how is the workout oh. better that you could hear it now, mom? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Steffi's leaving Friday, so now I have to go back to my phone. Oh, well, maybe she can show you how to work it. It's well, a, she, she can't, we, can't, we can't, don't have the cord. It's a long Story. process. It's a long. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm dedicated to with the phone. Uh, I can do it with the phone. But I'll put Woo! the audio. Yay! <laughs> Yay. I love it. She's so resourceful. That's how, probably how I, why I am the way I am because she's just like, well, if that didn't work, I'll do it like this. Oh, I'll do it by myself and then I'll call in and check in. She's like very resourceful. Like nothing is going to stop this woman. Um, such a cool, cool trait. All right, my guys, um, we ha I have to carry on with the rest of the day. N Jen and Suzanne and Cindy and Hillary, I love you guys and we'll be together on Friday. All right. Adios. Oh, what are you guys